Hi, this is Stephen Rothberg. I'm here today with College Recruiters CEO and my wife, Faith Rothberg, in a second of a series of videos that we're recording for employer customers, uh, potential customers, and just other employers out there um, who we think might benefit from some of the experience we've had. College Recruiter believes that every student and recent graduate deserves a great career. And we're recording these videos in this time of COVID-19 to share some of the experiences we've had because all of our employees have worked remotely since 1997. Um, you can see the entire playlist by going to our YouTube channel, www.collegerecruiter.com slash COVID-19 playlist. COVID-19 playlist is all one word, no hyphens or anything like that. www.collegerecruiter.com slash COVID-19 playlist and then you can watch all of the videos that we're recording on this topic here. Um, Faith, question for you. Sure. Um, when you have remote employees, whether they are interns who you expected to be working in the office but now have to be working remotely, whether they're new grads who you expected to be out in the field selling but now they have to be working remotely, um, talk with me about managing them, the kinds of uh, project tasks, uh, outcomes, etc. You've sure. been a person managing our employees much more so than me. Um, this this is an area I think right up uh, right up your alley. Thanks, Stephen. Yes, and I have been managing all the employees um, uh, it, rather than Stephen because we've decided that's one of my strengths. <laughs> um, anyway, what um, what I've found uh, and learned over the years of managing remotely is that it's super important to manage by outcomes rather than thinking about is somebody working hard or how long are they working those are things that unless you're going to be parental and try to put software on your your employees computers and tell them they have to be working from certain time to a certain time um, it doesn't build trust it's not a great way to go so what i've learned to do is to manage by outcomes and over time learn how long a lot of those outcomes might take so that I feel comfortable that they're fulfilling their job duties and, and reaching those outcomes. Um, when I hire uh, an intern, for instance, um, I ensure I work with my manager to ensure that they have um, a really good project laid out, planned out for what they want that intern to perform in the amount uh, or accomplish in the amount of time that internship. So let's say it's eight weeks then they would look towards building that project plan for that intern to build milestones throughout those eight weeks so that they are hitting portions of the project and they can then have a lot of communication around that and they can talk about whether those are the right deliverables. Did they, did they deliver the outcome that the manager was looking for? And is that adding to the final outcome of the final project? And then at the end of that eight weeks, they can not only have the outcome from the project that they hopefully expected, but then they can have a review and a conversation around what went well and what didn't and um, get feedback from that intern as well so that when we do another one, uh, we can improve on our process for those interns. Um, and, and the other thing I would say is I would also say that when I'm hiring a new person. One of the things that's important um, also is to have good onboarding and training. Mm. And that's something that we can do and plan for before we bring them on. And then ensure that that training is happening many times over Zoom, uh, where we can walk through screens together, get people signed up on our own software, and get them starting to work. So that's, that's also been a helpful thing. Um, when hiring and working with remote staff. Absolutely, and uh, some of our managers, in fact, I think all, they, this is something that we, this, we sort of do company-wide in a standard way, they'll have a daily stand-up at the yep. beginning of the day, typically by I, Google Hangout or by Zoom so that they can um, see each other visually, that helps build team, um, share screens if necessary, and just kind of have that daily might be five minutes, it might be 20 minutes, but a daily check-in, kind of like, what were you supposed to do yesterday? What did you get done? Which helps right. to bring out what sorts of obstacles they might have encountered 
And then what are you going to do today? And, and that really helps, I think, especially um, somebody who's at the beginning of their career stay on task. Right. That's a, that's a really good point, Stephen. And that has worked really well. And then, and then when I get to a point of managing managers, I do that on a weekly basis, which mm-hmm. really also helps keep everybody on task. Um, but you're correct with those newer employees. It's really important to have continuing communication. So what a great way to take five minutes in the day to ensure they know what they got done and what they're going to work on that day. Um, and it's a great connecting point for culture and, and all that as well. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for listening. <laughs>